So I'm recording this on Halloween, and since I'm recording on Halloween, um, I wanted to talk about something kind of fun. Um, I want to talk about facial recognition and recognizing people when they have something different on their face, right? I've been thinking a lot about mask wearing and superheroes since it's Halloween and kind of the concept of like, be a hero, wear a mask, um, which of course makes me think of how ridiculous it is that superheroes can have this like secret identity with just this like tiny strip of like thing across their eyes. It seems a little far-fetched, right? It's always seemed kind of weird to me that you can have this one tiny strip and suddenly, right, you have the secret identity. Um, and of course, the most like egregious example of this is Superman Clark Kent, right? So it, I'm wearing my glasses um, to demonstrate, right, that Superman goes from Clark Kent to Superman and suddenly no one recognizes that this is the same person, including Lois Lane, which seems especially far-fetched to me. So I was really interested when I saw this article called Disguising Superman, How Glasses Affect Unfamiliar Face Matching by Kramer and Ritchie. Uh, so we're going to go over this study. In this study, participants were asked to compare two photographs of people side by side and determine if they were pictures of the same people or pictures of different people. And there were three things that could happen on each trial, actually more than three, we'll get into it. Um, on each trial, the two pictures that you're comparing could be pictures with people wearing glasses, pictures of people not wearing glasses, or mixed. So one person, or sorry, one picture was a person wearing glasses, the other picture was somebody not wearing glasses. Again, your job is to determine if these are the same people. Furthermore, half of the time the pictures were in fact the same people, while the other half of the time they were different people. So we have a total of six different things that could be happening on any given trial. First thing, both people are wearing glasses and they are the same person, right? It's just different pictures of the same person wearing glasses. Next thing, they could be two different people both wearing glasses, right? So glasses, same person, glasses, different people. Um, you could have no glasses, same person, two different pictures of the same person who happens to not be wearing glasses, or no glasses, different people. So these really are two different people and they are not wearing glasses. Then we have the mixed same person. So it's the same person, it's just one picture is that person wearing glasses, the other person is that, or the other picture is that person not wearing glasses. And then finally, our sixth condition would be um, mixed different people. So it is a picture of one person wearing glasses and a picture of a different person not wearing glasses, right? So again, your job is, are these the same people or are they different? And I should note that all of the participants in this study were white women and all the photos were of white men and women. Um, this was done to avoid any possible compounds because there are, uh, or there's a lot of really interesting research showing that uh, facial recognition does vary across in-group and out-group. Um, and we know that people do tend to socialize and interact with people who are in their same sort of uh, racial or cultural um, set. So this, there, we do tend to see differences in facial recognition ability when you're looking at pictures of people who look different from you. Of course, again, this depends on how diverse your kind of uh, upbringing and background is, but in general, we do tend to see these differences. So to just kind of remove that compound, they said, okay, we're having white people look at white faces and we're only using women so we don't have to worry about um, any kind of differences between recognition of male and female faces. So just an aside, because I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so back to the study. Researchers were interested in how facial recognition accuracy was affected by the presence of glasses, right? So were you more or less accurate if someone had glasses on their face, if they were off their face, if it was mixed, right? If you're comparing glasses versus no glasses. Uh, there's reason to believe that glasses maybe could impair facial recognition because you do have like something kind of blocking part of your face. That's not what they found. So the results were that there was no difference between glasses and no glasses. So you were just as good at determining whether or not someone was, whether or not these pictures were of the same person, whether they were wearing glasses or not wearing glasses. 
it was about like 80% accuracy or 80% correct on that one. However, when it was mixed, so when you were looking at pictures where it was one person wearing glasses and the other photo, there were no glasses, right? Then accuracy goes down. Um, people were less accurate. It was about 74%. So, right, is it plausible that people don't recognize Superman when he takes his glasses off? Um, a little bit, right? This would suggest that like for the average person on the street, I'll give it to you, right? You maybe saw Superman in a news story a month ago, and now this dude in glasses is talking to you. So maybe you don't recognize it at Superman. I would buy that. But it's not like facial recognition, at least in this study, went down super low, right? We're talking 74% of the time, you still know it's the same person. So in other words, there's no excuse for Lois Lane, right? Um, in this study too, uh, they use unfamiliar faces, right? So again, random person on the street, you don't really know this person very well. I would buy that you don't recognize Superman. But Lois Lane, like you work with him. Um, this is not an unfamiliar face. This is somebody who you know really, really well. Um, so I don't buy that Lois Lane does not recognize Superman. So instead of the Clark Kent effect, right, because this doesn't fully explain why people don't recognize Superman, I think this should really be called the Lainey Boggs effect from the classic 90s teen rom-com, She's All That. Um, because in the movie, they feature this really common trope where the awkward, the awkward nerdy girl in glasses gets a makeover, right, and becomes popular essentially by removing her glasses, right? And in the, the movies and the TV shows when they do this, they always say like, oh, she's wearing makeup and she's wearing her hair differently. I mean, a little bit, but especially in Lainey Boggs's case where she, I think she maybe cut her hair a little bit shorter and then she just like removed her glasses. To me, it doesn't seem that dramatic because we're talking about actors who are generally very attractive people either way. Um, but it always seems silly to me, right, that people go, oh, they look totally different because they're not wearing glasses. Of course, there are other things going on there, right? There's other kind of social things. But again, this idea that you do look different with or without glasses and that difference makes it harder to recognize you if someone is unfamiliar with you, right? This doesn't really count for friends and family. Um, so I'm also really curious about how research on face recognition, what, what the implications are for uh, wearing masks that cover the lower part of your face. Uh, because we're still in this pandemic, right? COVID-19 is still happening at this point in time, which means that we're all getting used to social situations where people are covering their face. So um, another reason why I found this research article interesting is they talked about the research on facial recognition and they said that they were most interested in glasses because the eyes seem to be the most crucial part for facial recognition. So the good news is, um, is that uh, even though we have the lower portion of the face covered when we're wearing masks, that the really kind of crucial feature, the eyes are still present and still recognizable. Um, so that's good news, right, that we're not drastically impairing. I'm sure there's some effect, but it doesn't seem to be one that would be super drastic for recognizing the faces of people that you know. So thank you for watching and have a happy Halloween.